Hey there, welcome to my Tart to Tan extra dish on the UB Chef menu. So, just going to take you through what you'll get if you order the Tart to Tan. It's absolutely brilliant, it's of course our Sunday, uh, Sunday lunch uh, dessert, or we'll have it in the week as, of course as well, it lasts, lasts well. So, what you've got here, this will come to you in this lovely non-stick pan, from us to you, and you can reuse the non-stick pan after, so really, really important metal handle. So this is great, you cook in eggs, sausages, whatever you can, in this pan, that can go in the oven as well, so really, really useful. That's non-stick pan, so make sure you keep that after. Dishwasher safe, absolutely brilliant. So in there, we've got our pink lady apples, which have already been caramelized. So you can see, look there, we've got the caramel, we've got a little piece of cassia, which you don't eat, but it's in there to flavor the whole tart to tan up. And then we've got a little disc of pastry here. So undo your pastry carefully. Remember, the bags that we use are all uh, compostable bags. They might not look it, but you can put it in your compost bin, same as the paper and the back, uh, backing board as well, so really kind to the environment. Then what you do, take off the piece of paper, and that's where you have your pastry. So let's put that out of the way so you can see. You've got your piece of pastry all rolled out already, and what I want you to do is simply put it on top of your tatatan, like that, and then, you see how I'm gonna start folding the pastry down the edge. So go round, first of all, and make sure you're kind of bringing the pastry right the way down. And then really, really important at this stage, if you just bake it like that, when you turn it out, it's gonna be like a flat disc of pastry. Now, for the Tarts of Town, what I like is that caramelized pastry, which is down the side, and then of course you get the Christmas on the top. So take your finger and just basically push that pastry and make sure it goes right the way down into the caramel itself. So I can actually see the caramel starting to pop around it slightly where I'm really pushing it down. So I can't stress this point enough. Spend a bit of time getting all that pastry pushed in like so, okay? Then what we're gonna do, take your egg yolk. So you've got this lovely bit of pasteurized egg yolk which comes with it. You can use your finger but ideally a pastry brush, and then just egg wash all the way over, but try not to get the egg yolk on the actual pan because that will basically, it'll sort of more likely it will stick. So I'm just getting all that egg yolk brushed around. You don't need to put loads on, you don't want it kind of dripping with egg yolk, but just enough, like so. There we go. So that is our yolking done. And then get your knife and just put a little hole just in the top of the pastry. Now where we've cooked the tart to tan already for you, then of course some of the moisture from the apples has already been evaporated, so that little hole is just for any extra steam because you want your pastry to be nice and crisp at the end. So, that's going in the oven. There it goes. I've got my oven set to 190 degrees, so it's quite hot in there, but that's gonna get a lovely uh, color on the, on the pastry. That's going to be in there about 35 to 40 minutes, but you can tell. Like, look at the pastry, it wants to be lovely and golden brown. And then when it comes out, put it just on the side, make sure you don't touch the handle because it's going to be really, really hot. Give it about you know, two, three minutes just to calm down. The caramel is going to thicken slightly. So that means when you turn it out, it's less likely to, you know, you have a problem with it with the caramel because it's super hot. If you need to, of course, it doesn't quite come out of the pan once, once it's cooled down. Just put it back on the stove, give it a little shake just for a tiny bit of heat, just to release the caramel on the bottom, and then carefully we're gonna turn it over. So, when I come back, I've got my garnishes ready. This is a Calvados caramel sauce, just here, and this is a lovely mousse to go on the side, made with creme fraiche and cassia. So we're gonna have a hot spoon to put some of that onto the dish. Back in about 35, 40 minutes, and I'll show you finishing off my tart to tan. So my tart to tan has been cooking for 35 minutes. I've taken it out of the oven, and I've just rested it there just for a couple of minutes to make the caramel just kind of calm down a bit. You've got to be quite careful with it. I'm just going to put it back onto the stove. Where this is like metal pan like it is, it will just go back on just for a couple of seconds and that will just loosen that caramel, help you turn it out. You might not need that, but I'm just, of course, wanting to turn out really nicely. Got a bit of my grease proof ready and then you can put that little plate on the top, all those kind of things, but look, just out it goes. Just leave it just for a second, and then very, very carefully, look at that. So, non-stick pan is all good for next time. I'm just gonna get my apples with a spoon. You can see how 
lovely that caramel is. I'm just going to arrange them slightly on the top like so. And then I'm just going to get my bit of cassia, push that to the side. It's just lovely, a little bit of presentation that's there for. And then let's go in, nice sharp knife. So use a little spoon if you don't want to kind of get all that hot caramel on your fingers. And then come round. We've said this will go up to four. I'm quite hungry, so I'm gonna do a nice big portion for me. Lovely bit of tart to tan. There we go. Take it to the table. I'm gonna put a little bit of that cassia on there for a bit of presentation. And then, this is my creme fraiche cassia mousse. See, I've got a pan of water just here. Just get in my spoon, dip it in the water, like so. And then, see how I just use that spoon just to turn it over. Just get a nice spoon of that mousse on there, like so. And then, I'm gonna come back, in my spoon, have a little dip. Now I've got my caramel sauce here. Just give that a nice stir. You can heat it up if you prefer, completely up to you. I'm just gonna get a nice little pool of my Calvados caramel sauce on the side. Serve more on the table if you prefer. And that is it. Look at that. Sticky, unctuous, lovely tart to town. I hope you enjoy it.